One strike to count on Willie Mays. Here's the pitch. Swung on. There's a line drive in center field. It's going to be in there for a base hit. Here comes the runner trying to score the throw into the second baseman. And here comes Joe Antomatano across the plate for the first run of the ball game. And the Giants lead one to nothing. A well hit ball. Apolio is going to get it evidently the way he's moving by the fence. But it may be gone. And it is. That's the way the ball game starts. Well, that's the way the 1965 All-Star game starts. Avalio went back to the fence and saw he had a play. But they sacked one out of here. There's a swing and a long drive to deep left center field. And you can tell it. Bye-bye, baby! And the fans go wild. History is being made by Willie Mays, who faces Lou Burdett in the first inning and promptly smashes his first home run of the day. His round tipper in the fourth is a 400 foot belt. Here is Mays, who has hit four balls right on the nose today, three for homers, and one a line drive for center. Now the 2 0 delivery, and Mays sends another one. Tell it bye bye, baby. Aaron doesn't even move. It's gone far up into the center field bleachers. Willie Mays has tied a record. Four home runs in a game. The county stadium is going mad. Our cameras caught one of his impossibles on a windy 1963 day at Candlestick Park. A long sinking line drive, not to center field, but actually to left. Mays catching this one is like a seagull dipping for a fish. Watch close. There he goes. Thanks, Will. The following day against... Warren Spong, first ball pitch over the roof, and believe me, Charlie, he carried us. Literally carried us on his back for the next six weeks. Personal records in this game. And Mays now holds an interesting lifetime batting average in all-star competition, an average of exactly 417. He hits a double. He hits a home run. And still the Dodgers win the game. On August 27th against the Cardinals, as here our cameras record exclusively. Mays becomes the first right-handed batter in National League history to hit 400 home runs. Just five days later, in the same week, September 1st, against the Dodgers, Willie collects his 2,000th base hit. Dodger pitcher Claude Austin delivers. Willie connects and hammers it 380 feet over the right field fence for his 512th round tripper. And he also hammers a new National League career home run record into the books. Willie said, I knew it was gone when I hit it. Some 28,000 fans and his teammates gave the Say Hey Kid a thunderous ovation for his record-breaking four-bagger. West center field. This one's got a chance. It's gone. It's a home run. Number, number 599 of May's career. Here's the pitch to Willie. Swung on. It's deep to left. That one is way back. Way back. Way back. Well, it's good. In the process, Mays was flying through a flock of records. His 52 is an all-time giant record for one season. In the golden October sunlight, and with that mighty classic swing, powered one high over the scoreboard, 
and out of Forbes Field. It was Willie's 37th home run of the year. His 103rd run batted in. Again, the perfect stage, the right time, the lift his team needed, the strength to hold on and try to win them all. Willie tied Lou Gehrig's lifetime total of 493 and Kiner's National League one month record of 16 with one blow. Giants took off on a torrid stretch during which they won 17 of 18. Put him in center field for the All-Star game. The tremendous voting surge in Cincinnati actually would have put seven red legs in the starting lineup. And he comes through. The kids waiting beyond the outfield fence react with fanatical joy because their faith was answered in one resounding instant. They were proven right. And all the pure joy of a child comes surging back again to every fan in the park. Willie just hit one. Mays drops a hit down the right field line. And it goes for a triple, scoring Musial. Then with the stage again set, as the Braves were leading three to one, Mays came to bat in the top of the sixth with Tom Heller and Tito Fuentes on base and ripped the home run off a fastball by Jarvis of Atlanta. And San Francisco led four to three. This shot set some records for Willie. Mays tied the National League record of 100 or more runs batted in in eight straight years. And the center field scoreboard spelled out another. Willie was matching the great ones in the record books one by one. After one out, Mays singles to left. Willie Mays singles across Etheridge to keep the rally going. San Francisco's 13 wins out of 18 games gives them more victories against Los Angeles than against any other team in the league. Willie Mays follows with a single to center to drive in hunt giving San Francisco a two to nothing lead. And the irrepressible Willie Mays picks on Stafford's first pitch, packs it into left field for a double that puts the shutout in jeopardy. Mays steals second, a record six steal in all-star play. Cepeda also plays for San Francisco. And here he drops a blooper single near the right field foul line. It's a hit because Mays had thrown the defense out of position. Reaching third, a throwing error next sends him streaking home with the tying run. What a match. Nine to go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. So the runner's ready to go. Morton sets. He throws to Mays. There's a long drive to deep right center field. Way back it goes and tell it bye bye baby. Number 2,999. to Wagoner delivers. Mays hits it in the left field. That goes number 3,000. Willie Mays gets his 3,000 base hit. <laughs> Willie Mays has done it again. He has brought the baseball world to a standstill. With the league president, Charles Feeney, Hall of Famer Stan Musil and Carl Hubble, and Monty Irvin, who helped Mays, 
at the start of his baseball career all cheering him on. The history of the game. There's a drive to left. It's well hit. Going back and gone. As a New York Met, a high fastball, he lines it over the left field fence. The 3 2 delivery. Mays hits a ground ball, a base hit in the left field. Well, he's on. Usually loses his cap in the outfield. He lost it when he left home plate. The final hit. Willie's fabulous career breaks the tie and the Mets lead seven to six.